Hello and welcome to the Album Man. And today I'm going to be doing a review of Sacred Mother Tongues Out of the Darkness. So, who are Sacred Mother Tongue? Well, they are a four-piece metal band from Northam Northam Hampton in the UK. And they consist of Darren South on vocals, Andy James on guitar, Josh Gairn on bass, and Lee Neal on drums. And Out of the Darkness is their second full-length studio album, and was released on April the 15th, 2013. Now, this band seems to be getting some, some more attention recently, um, especially the guitarist of the band Andy James. Uh, so, does this album show them to be one of Britain's best up-and-coming metal bands, or does it show it to just be another generic UK metal band? So, the album opens up with Demons, and from the very outset this band shows the sound they want with a big double bass drum sound, some heavy riffing from Andy. It all sounds very heavy metal, and at times during this album we even encounter some thrash elements, which is always cool. Anyway, the voice of Darren kicks in, and I really like his voice. It's got a great power to it, and his vocals are exclusively clean, which, like, I heard he did some more, maybe, screaming even in earlier stuff, but I don't know, I have not heard the, um, first album, so can't judge. And this band, I have to say, they remind me quite a bit of, um, Alter Bridge, with their massively melodic courses and yet yeah, a shredding guitarist, and that's no bad thing. I mean, I love that band, but that's not to say they copy them or are in any way derivative. No, no, they have a much heavier sound, a lot more metal to them, but that sort of very basic structure, I suppose, is there. And I would say they're probably influenced, and Andy James probably respects Mark Tremonti. Anyway, Demons has a great chorus to it, lovely guitar solo from Andy, it's a great opener, and I imagine live that this song would be truly epic. And here's a taste of what it sounds like. <laughs> This is the second song. This has a fantastic, memorable chugging riff to it as this song ascends to its wonderfully catchy chorus. Another great vocal performance from Darren with some good lyrics as well. And I particularly love the solo on this song as Andy shreds over the uh, and even shreds over the solid rhythm of Josh and Lee. And I think Lee particularly shows himself to be a fantastic drummer. I really like his drumming on this album. It's got it's very, very strong, very heavy, big, big beats, and it just adds to this fantastic song. Seven. Now, from his pounding drums at the beginning to the thrashy, chugging riff that Andy plays at the beginning, this is one of the heaviest songs on the album, if not the heaviest, and one of my favourites. It opens with a killer solo before Darren's voice comes in as he sings about beating a creature in seven days. The lyrics may not make the most sense, they seem to go into that sort of fantastical realm, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I like that type of thing. Anyway, it's a very memorable song with its big chorus and massive guitar sound leading up to the even better phenomenal solo in the middle. They really demonstrate with this song just how technically tight they are as a band and how they really a breath of fresh air in the UK metal scene with their lively, fast-paced metal sound. Um, yeah, you know, I am enjoying this band. Porn. And this is spelled as in to porn something as opposed to, you know, Okay, and this features some quotes from Peter Finch from the network. I have no idea what that is, but that's just what it is. And I personally like these quotes. They're meant to be sort of fairly, maybe poignant isn't the right word, but quotes to make you think, I suppose. I think they fit the song nicely and thematically all right. And they aren't used too often. They they use tastefully. Um, I have some had some people criticise them, but you know I, I think they're quite tasteful. And the chorus again has a great sound to it. Really highlights Darren's vocals and of course Andy's guitar, which is usual for this band. Um, one thing here, they have um, a little soft section towards the end before the chorus kicks back in 
you know, back to up to the tempo, which I do like. I thought it could have been a tad longer, same with some other quieter sections we'll get in this album. But anyway, wonderful. Bleeding Out, this is one of the best songs on the album so far, and this band just doesn't let up at the moment. I love the little false intro, as I like to call it, it starts with some clean guitar picking before suddenly descending into the dirty chugging riff. The thing I love about this especially, it's the grand epic chorus that it has. I've always said that I've been a sucker for a good chorus, and this is a perfect example of how commercial metal can be well done, as long as it tells that power, passion and fire combined with that sort of hook and this song has all of those and it has that musicianship that a lot of commercial metal lacks it takes away the cliches and instead just adds their own sort of brand of metal A Light Will Shine, this is though my favourite track on the album and I think it's the lead single to be honest um, some may say this song isn't necessarily unique or massively innovative, no but especially this year, I felt a lack of good metal albums, especially from the UK. And this song certainly isn't cliché, with its brilliant chord progression as it builds attention, leading to the climactic chorus that just makes you want to sing along. It's one of my favourite metal songs, certainly so far this year, with its incredible solo and its colossal chorus that really make a mark. This isn't continued as much in the next song, The City Is Crying. It just doesn't provoke the same response in me as the other songs. I mean, it has that sort of heaviness that something like Seven had, but the chorus just lacks that impact. And that's not to say that this song isn't good, as I still enjoy it, but it just seems to be lacking the spark the other songs had. And sounds a little derivative, as weird as it sounds, of their own sound. Just a little repetitive, I suppose, of the previous song. Yes, it does have some nice elements, like the bridge with a sawing solo from um, Andy, and some brutal bass and drumming with him rise. But really, I just don't think it quite delivers. Not saying I don't like it, um, it's just not one of the better songs on the album. Just a ride, again, it continues this little lull, this little blip. It's a pleasant ride, it just offers us nothing we haven't seen before. These are lovely landscapes we are travelling through, but it just lacks the variety I would have liked. Just you get a little sense of deja vu off this song. Still, it doesn't mean it's not a raw metal song that, you know, has a good vibe to it. No, but again, just isn't the best they've done, feels a little samey. Luckily, luckily, this is completely fixed by this song, Evolve slash Become. This completely fixes the law we had, and, I mean, it just, it delivers. Oh my god, it, it delivers. It feels epic, it feels like it's a lot longer than it is, and not because it drags, I mean, it whips along so fast, it feels like but so much has happened, it must have been longer, because it really whips along so quickly, but while you're on the voyage, it twists and turns, it's a sensational metal song with a killer chorus, and another awe-inspiring riff from this metal maestro in the making, Andy James, who really has blown me away on this album. And this song also has a lovely gentle section of clean chords, this has a, a little longer than the previous times, um, but then, quite quickly, it does transcend straight to the chorus. As I said, this song is sensational. I absolutely love it. This was um, one of the leads off their EP, which just preceded this, which had many of the songs from this album. So, most Sacred Mother Tongue fans will probably know quite a bit of this album. Well, I've never been the biggest fan of um, bands releasing EPs before the albums, but... Oh, wow. Reflection of our failings, hello! So the last track on this album is Believe, and this ends the album with another powerful, superbly strong song, and is a great closing track that really encapsulates all this album wished to achieve, which is to show a voyage out of darkness, and by what I've read of the band, it's a journey out of depression and overcoming it, and they certainly did it with real power and emotion in this song, and the chorus, it just hits you like a brick wall. Fabulous. 
Overall, I've praised this album a lot. I really, really like it. It, it achieves its aims of creating really solid, really fun, really tight metal album with some fantastic, with a fantastically technically proficient band and, you know, from the intense shredding of Andy, the wonderful voice of Darren and the solid rhythm of Josh and Lee. It's just a really enjoyable album. Though, it's not perfect. They definitely could have done with a little more variety. Some of the songs like The City's Crying and Just a Ride sounds a, you know, a, a little repetitive, to be honest. But, um, you know, this is only the second album. They have plenty of time to improve and fare for their sound. But for the first album, Fair to the there's it really is a fantastic effort and i enjoy it quite a lot so what am i going to give this album out of 10 i am going to give it an 8 out of 10 really enjoyable album but suffers a, a little bit of you know deja vu to say more towards the middle this has been the album man thanks for watching can't wait to subscribe and long live and well.